Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Paul Ingram. Today we're going to be working on what's called the Carenza Flow. And this comes from Filipino martial arts, commonly known as Kali, Arnis, or Eskrima. And what Carenza is, or in Tagalog, Saya, which means to dance, but what Carenza is, is a solitary free flow exercise that involves the you know, any weapon category of Kali or even the empty hands. And basically it's like shadow boxing, but with a weapon or with your Kali skills. And today we're gonna be focusing on some very basics of this exercise and we're just gonna use a single stick. Okay? And the whole purpose for today is to just find a nice smooth flow. When we train Carenza, there's three main ways that we can train it. We could train it in a more combative, martial kind of sense where we're really moving, like we're imitating how we would be moving in combat. We can train it in the second way, which is more of a meditative, kind of like a, like a, like a Tai Chi or a yoga type of mentality where it's really focusing on meditation and mindfulness and being in the present moment. And a third common way to express Carenza is through theatrical. And this is when you're really starting to kind of incorporate gymnastics and different types of twirls and flips and all kinds of things with your weapon. And that's more for like demonstration stuff. But for today's purpose, we're gonna kind of stick more with the meditative. So we're just focusing on flow, we're focusing on smoothness in the weapon techniques and in the transitions from movement to movement. We're gonna start with a single stick. Just grab any stick that you have laying around. If you have a traditional rattan Kali stick, obviously use that. But if not, just grab anything you could find. And we want our sticks in Kali really to be somewhere between 24 inches to even up to 31, 32 inches. So what I find a 28 inch length stick is a nice happy medium and it works for most people. And then from there you can explore with you know, a little bit shorter sticks, a little bit longer sticks. So we're gonna work with three simple beginner patterns and then we're gonna put them together into our Carenza flow. So grab our gear and let's get started. As far as gripping our weapon, there's a few ways that you can do this and you can explore the different ways and then decide which you like the most. And we can either grip the weapon flush to the bottom just like this, or you can go one finger up, two finger up, three finger up, or even a full um, fist length up, a whole hand up. Typically we don't really want to go much higher than that. Um, but you can you know, kind of explore the different ones. Some people kind of find what they like and they stay there. Other people throughout the practice will kind of change it up a little bit. Maybe the hand slips a little bit and uh, you just got to work with what you got or you know, until you can make the adjustment um, into the grip that you prefer. Now to begin, we're going to take what's called a strong lead. So if we're right-handed, the right foot's going to be forward. If you're left-handed, the left foot's gonna be forward. Now we are gonna be moving around with some footwork, nothing particular for today's training, uh, but sometimes the right foot's gonna be forward, sometimes the left foot's gonna be forward. But for the beginning, we're gonna start off with a strong lead. Our first exercise is known as the X, or our first pattern is known as the X. We're just gonna make a big X right in front of the body. A forehand strike and a backhand strike. And we're just going to keep these strikes roughly about 45 degrees. So a nice diagonal strike. And just let the body move with the strike. So let the torso rotate with the strike. So as I'm striking a forehand, I'm rotating in the same direction. As I strike with the backhand, I'm rotating in the same direction. And don't worry about speed, don't worry about power. We're gonna focus on smoothness right here. Now, we can also go into smaller uh, X's, smaller strikes, where the strikes can come out of the elbow. And we can play around with even smaller strikes where they're gonna come out of the manipulation from the wrist. So we can work these three basic striking techniques on all the patterns that we're gonna be working today. First one from the shoulder, 
which is going to be our largest strikes, medium strikes, which will be from the elbow joint, and short strikes, which is from the wrist. As far as the left hand goes, you can keep it right here on the chest, on the center of the chest. Or sometimes it'll go into second position, which will be down by the same side hip. So in this case, my left hand will be down by my left hip. So position one for the left hand is at the plexus in front of the, in front of the chest. And position two is down by the hip. We're just not gonna you know, let it dangle here, not doing anything. We'll put a little bit of tension, elbow bent, and put a little bit of intention in that left hand. Striking pattern number two. Now we're gonna go up the X, what we call the upward figure eight. This one is really nice because it really gets the mechanics in the hips, the shoveling in the hips to really start working here. So this striking pattern, the figure eight, is very good for really developing your body mechanics. And again, we can make these large strikes where the rotation is predominantly coming from the shoulder. Go into our medium strikes where it's mostly focused from the elbow. Or our short strikes where we're focusing on the rotation from the wrist. And just take 30 seconds or so and just work through the figure eight. Feel the motion, feel your body, notice how your weight shifts. Let the torso, the hips and shoulders rotate with the strike. Forehand side, backhand side. You can experiment with the opposite leg forward. All right, and our third and final striking pattern that we're gonna work today is our plus. We're gonna strike a horizontal, and then our vertical. Horizontal strike on the other side, and then a vertical. So we have a forehand horizontal that then moves into a backhand vertical, and then a backhand horizontal that moves into a forehand vertical. Now we can strike high, right to the head. We can strike middle, which is goes right to the elbow or floating ribs. We can strike low down to the knees. Or on that vertical, maybe you'll even smash them all the way to the foot. And you play around with these elevations. And typically for this one, just for right now, we're just gonna do full strikes. We get the arm involved, let the torso, the hips and shoulders rotate with the strikes. All right. Sometimes we're going to be leaning forward on the strikes. Sometimes maybe we're leaning back. We can alternate forward and back, forward and back, maybe back on the horizontal, forward on the vertical. Okay, and just kind of play around here on our plus. Focusing on smoothness. We want smooth transition from movement to movement. Okay, we don't want to strike, stop, strike, stop. Right, we don't want to look like a robot. We want to look like a smooth animal. <laughs> and let the body go, let the mechanic go, explore the movement here, explore the mechanic. Test your balance, we wanna be on balance. But it's important to test it. You know, see what your limits are, see where your body goes off balance and let your body make the natural correction to come back to balance. Mm, 
Okay, good. So you can do Carenza as, you know, just working the individual drills just like that. Even though that's not really Carenza, that's more of just uh, working the striking patterns in the drill format. Carenza is really when we're going to start blending these things and we want to start moving into a more of a free lance, a free expression. So let's do an example together, nice and slow here. So I'm going to call it out what pattern and then we're just going to change that pattern and I'll make sure that there's enough time so that you can change it. Maybe you got to kind of remember it a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and give it a go. Just flow with me here. So we're going to start off with our X strikes. Just nice and easy. Don't worry about footwork right now. You know, if you feel that motion to move around, feel free. But right now we're just focusing mostly on what we're doing with the upper body. From here, we're gonna go into the upward figure eight. Maybe just switch your feet. Yeah, if you wanna incorporate some footwork, but maybe you're feeling like, don't really know what's going on here, don't know what to do yet. Eventually, we'll come back and do some videos where we'll do some specific footwork drills and stuff like that that will help calibrate your feet with your upper body. Now, we're gonna transition into or plus, so horizontal to vertical. Spend a little bit of time here, just a few seconds. Play with the elevations if you like. Go back into the X. Find your X. Back into the plus, but this time I'm gonna start with a vertical and then go to a horizontal. All right, and then into the upward figure eight. Notice how I started from the backhand side this time. So you can start from a forehand or backhand. Go into some short strikes back into the X. Okay, we're just gonna speed up the transitions a little bit more, so I'm gonna call them out maybe every five seconds or so. Back into the upper figure eight. Back into the X. Back into the plus. even throw some music on and uh, find some rhythm that way back into figure eight back into the plus to the X plus figure eight plus X Back into the plus, figure eight, X. And if you'd like to, pass the weapon to your other hand, right next to your hip. And let's just get a little bit of time here with our non-dominant hand here. Starting off, let's start off with the X. The good idea to train the other hand this is gonna help prepare for when we get into the double stick flows. Upward figure eight. But on your own, you do want to make sure you're spending enough time on both sides of the body. And back into our plus. Figure eight. and X, passing it back to our more dominant hand, back into the X right away, nice and smooth there, upward figure eight, plus, and back into our left hand, and we'll close it out right there. 
So that's a great introduction to Carenza, the solitary free flow, or kind of like the shadow boxing with a weapon from Filipino martial arts, from Kali. And this exercise here has many, many benefits. Obviously it has benefits for you know, the more combat, the martial application, where we're able to discover the flow within our body so that way we could be more adaptable to any given changing situation, right? All the unpredictabilities that can happen in like a self-defense situation or something like that. But the Carenza practice has more to offer than just that. It's great for the nervous system in the body to connect the body and the mind. It's good for building focus, concentration, mental clarity, many, many great benefits that we get out of it. It can even be a nice good stress relief for a busy crazy day that maybe we have in our you know modern lifestyles if you enjoyed this Carenza practice and would like to see more and like to continue your practice with me to improve upon your Carenza, your solitary free flow, hit the thumbs up button, make sure you're subscribed here to the channel, and I'll catch you back here next time.